guys, my name is Francis and welcome back to the Rugged Tyros. If you're new to this channel, a Tyro is a beginner. Come with me as we learn and explore the great outdoors. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. Today we're on another lake closer to home, Sylvan Lake. I've been to this lake many times before, just not specifically this area we're in today. Technically this video, I kind of cheated because I was also at Gull Lake yesterday and the bite was incredibly slow. Like when I say slow, they were crossing the camera, they were showing up on the flasher, but no bueno. Today my goal is to kind of target some white fish, but at this point, it's later in the day, so I'm kind of looking to get anything. But hey, this is fishing. No bueno. We got the homie Randy here today. <laughs> We've fished one area for a specific amount of time and we decided to move. And in that time, Randy managed to catch this walleye. The bite's been slow already, so like we've already moved once today. And I was honestly getting a little bit anxious. I just wanted to catch a fish bad. So as the fog sets in, I'm gonna take a quick coffee break. So what we're talking about today, guys, is what to bring and what not to bring. To bring ice fishing, that is. But in this moment... All right guys, so we got confirmation from my buddy Dex that they're catching white fish just a little bit further down that way. So we're gonna head that way. We're gonna pack her in and then head that way. And Dex came this morning asking me for a little bit of advice, but then we told him that we got word that there's a place down yonder that has a bunch of white fish and he's already caught some. So we're gonna head that way. So in the rush to get everything packed up and ready to go, this right here, where I have my jacket is where I went wrong. Well guys, I was just about to move and I did something horrible. I locked my keys in my truck. So Randy's on his way to go fishing with uh, Dexter on that side. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get my keys back. Cause I think I might have to run home. Cause I locked everything inside. Brutal. So with the risk of coming out on the actual ice, to pay a tow truck driver would have been double what I normally pay if you locked your keys in the truck. Luckily, I got a hold of a friend. So all I need to do now is pack up and wait. All right, so definitely one thing you should bring if you're gonna be ice fishing is an extra set of keys. Man, this sucks. Since I'm waiting anyway, I might as well stand and fish. Oh, thank goodness. He's here. I feel really stupid, but I'm glad he came. Well, Brandon, thank you for saving my butt. <laughs> no problem. Definitely going to bring an extra set of keys next time. So the distance between Sylvan Lake and my house is quite a ways away. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to my office and we're going to talk a little more about fishing in general and the original topic at hand. All right guys, welcome back to my creative studio. So we're back here because that trip that 
I just had it was a bit of a bust these last two trips and like I noticed on a lot of like my Facebook groups a lot of these uh, pages that people talk about fishing on Gullick and Sylvan everyone's been saying the same thing yeah you're able to manageably pull out one one fish or something like that but a lot of the fish are not showing interest so I'm gonna do some more studying and kind of learn how to target specific species and draw them even when they're not hungry. Uh, essentially, they're there. I see them, they're on the camera. If you look down your hole, you can see them swim by, but that's the extent of the action. You're not getting any kind of like, like feedback where they come like ripping and grabbing your uh, lures. Um, they're just not wanting what I'm giving. So. so we're talking today about what to bring and what not to bring. Now, it really depends on the situation so let's say you're just out it's not too cold and you just want to get on the ice honestly some warm clothing something to sit on or if you want to stand that's up to you your rod your auger and some bait and you are fishing but for me i like to be very comfortable when i'm ice fishing so as soon as I'm able to actually like get on the get out on the ice, I determine whether I can bring my truck on the ice or whether I can just walk out on the ice. And obviously, if you're just walking out onto the ice, you want to pack light. You want to be able to to just drag your stuff out and be able to do it all in one hit. Versus when I'm in my truck, well, the sky's the limit. I bring everything when I bring my truck. I bring something to cook on, I bring comfy chairs, I bring my shack, which helps block you from the elements like wind and, and whatnot. And when you have your heater and your bigger tanks of propane, man, you can be pretty much fishing in a t-shirt. For me, comfort is king. And you also have to determine how long you think you're gonna be going out for. If you're gonna be setting up every so often, I wouldn't bring too much. I'd carry light, I'd carry a light lunch, maybe some sandwiches or something like that. But again, comfort for me is king. So if I can have some hot soup, if I can make some fettuccine alfredo on the ice, I will. There is no right or wrong, but there are times when it can get a little bit embarrassing when you're only going out for a couple hours with some buddies and you pretty much have your whole house with you. But hey, if you can get through the ridicule and the heckling, then hey, by all means, comfort's king, right? And because of this whole situation, that I had today, I do recommend bringing an extra set of keys, maybe something you can just kind of clip on to you so you don't lose it. And in the event that you do lock your other set in the truck, well then, there you go. Just bring an extra set of keys. Well, thank you, Brandon, for taking me to my house to grab my spare keys. So yeah, this is, something, this is something you're gonna wanna bring, <laughs> is an extra pair of keys just in case. Keep them in your pocket, I guess. I don't know. Well, guys, that was a bit of an ordeal. And I don't know if I want to fish right now. Um, it's like 40 minutes or 30, 30 to 40 minutes back to my house, back to the lake. I'm just lucky I had a friend that would take me all the way home and take me back here and help me grab my keys. So, but Randy's still out in the lake. I'm gonna go check them out. Uh, my buddy Dexter's still out here. I'm gonna check them out, see if they've caught anything. Um, if they've caught anything, maybe maybe I'll truck fish, truck fish for a bit, like jig from the truck. You guys catch anything? Just one, eh? Just the one from this morning? Yeah. Where are you guys headed now? To North End? North End, yeah. Yeah. Whereabouts to? Uh, Let's see the farthest one northwest. Northwest, uh, Palm Bay. Palm Bay. Palm Bay, yeah. I think that's where we go. Yeah, like there's nothing here apparently. He's he's texting me, he's just like, I came over here and they caught nothing. I got nothing, so. Yeah, that's, I only seen three. They saw one pike, that's. That's much. it, eh? Crazy, it's dead out here. Yeah, this is my first time out here, so. No, it's all good. But anyway, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, no worries, bud. Yeah. We'll see you just, later. Uh, okay, man. Have all right, man. Time. You too, man, Thanks take care. Man. Yeah. Hey. Awesome. That's dope. I love that. <laughs> I love your new logo. <laughs> you do good work. Thanks, bud. Take care. 
He's wearing the hoodie I made for him. <laughs> oh, well, I figured they would have let you know too, but just in case they didn't. Yeah. They saw me pulling up, so. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, Fishing's yeah. dead over here, eh? Yeah. <sighs> well, I was going to go truck fishing, but apparently out where I wanted to go, no one's catching fish out there too, so we'll see what happens. Um, but we also got word that out there, basically if you had a green wire worm, that would work because they opened up one uh, fish's uh, stomach, gutted it, and there was green bugs in it. So that's pretty cool. That's good to know for next time is that they're eating green. Um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna grab food and head home. I hope you guys found this episode as enjoyable and entertaining as I did creating it. If so, if you did, please share this video, then like this video, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and then that bell icon for more notifications from the Rugged Tyros only here on Tequila Creative. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later.